Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. So today, I will start my presentation with a question. Have you ever feel stressed out? Like everything was not right and not working for you and the whole day was just horrible. I bet we all have gone through this, right? Even me, myself. And we often call this kind of day as a bad day. Okay now, so have you ever heard the word random kindness say that you come across a stranger out of a sudden and then he or she did something kind to you and after that you will feel all kind of warm inside well that is called random kindness well this act of random kindness really helps to soothe you and calm you down especially after when you are stressed out or having a bad day so today I would love to share with all of you on a few random acts of kindness that you can do in your daily life so let's get started firstly I will divide this act of random kindness to two parts first is for the strangers and the second one is for the family and friends which is no doubt we have to prioritize them and put them in list right How do you perform random kindness for strangers? First, start with a stranger, a total stranger. This is because we didn't know them and so are they. Do some act of kindness to them and move on with our life and probably we will never meet them again in the future. Well, the best part of this is we didn't expect anything from them. We didn't expect them to be kind to us in the future or we didn't expect them to repay us back we just do some act of kindness to them smile and move on with our life as simple as that for example when we buy something and supposedly we will receive some small change as balance so why not instead of receiving it we can just say oh it's okay you can keep the change or when we see an old lady by the street struggling with her groceries so why not we approach her and offer some help to her this would totally make her day and made her happy or when we are in the mosque waiting for our family while doing nothing and then we saw a mother struggling with her kids because she want to perform prayers so why not we approach her and offer some help to look after her kid and she can perform her prayers with us or maybe we can buy some pet foods in small packs, put it in our handbags, and we can give them to the stray cats that we stumbled upon in our daily life. Okay, so that was a few ideas regarding of some act of kindness for strangers. Moving on with the topic. So now, how do we perform random kindness for family and friends? The same thing applies here as what I've mentioned before. The concept of random kindness itself is to do something and to expect nothing. Instead, you will feel some kind of inner peace inside you and surprisingly you will be happy throughout the day. Compared to family and friends, it is always easier to perform this kind of kindness to strangers. This is because we are not going to see them ever again. And if you are a first-timer, you will feel less embarrassed to do this to strangers instead of family and friends. Why? This is because family and friends knew us well and we will frequently meet them throughout the day. And maybe they tend to judge you and your act because it is unusual for them to see that kind of new side of you. And thus, you will feel demotivated to continue with this act and gave up in the end. But being kind is addictive. So 
don't bother with that kind of distractions and just do what you want. Now here's a few random kindness that we can do for our family and friends. First, start with our family members. While we are at home, after having our dinner or lunch, help our family with their dishes. Or, randomly praise our siblings such as, Hey, thank you for being my brother. Or, thank you for being there during my ups and downs. I love you, sister. At first, it might be a bit weird for us to say so, and it might be a bit weird for them to receive that kind of words from us. But believe me, in the end, it feels good and it made their day too. So we've come to the end of my presentation. To put it in simple words, these random things may be the start of our new character because we will always have had that desire to improve ourselves to the betterment as a Muslim and as well as to the Ummah. It is also can be a kickstart for a new us. Last but not least, I would like to quote a famous saying from Mahatma Gandhi, Be the change that you want to see in the world. That's all from me. Thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.